Hey everybody, Pete Warner here, uh, doing something a little different uh, in the studio today. Um, uh, Steve Porter had the idea a while ago that we should try doing like a blindfolded smell test with the Magic Candle Company candles. And uh, then Corey Fiascanaro separately had the exact same idea. So I thought, that's a pretty good idea. So right now we have blindfolded on either side of me, Corey Fiascanaro. Where am I? And Eric Gross. Hello. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> um, so what I've done is uh, I, I've, I've, I've picked four theme park inspired scents from the uh, Magic Candle Company collection. And of course, you can buy any of these or many, many others. MagicCandleCompany.com, code DisneyInfo, saves you 15% on every order you place with them. Um, so I picked four theme park-inspired scents from their collection, and we're going to ask Eric and Corey to smell them. Now, Corey is a bit of an expert on Magic Candle Company, so I have high expectations for him. Eric is still a newbie. I have zero experience with this. <laughs> so Eric's still a newbie, so it's kind of a nice dichotomy that we have here between the two of them. Um and uh, I'm uh, very interested to see how how they do. So we're going to start. I don't know if the camera's picking up, if it's going to pick up the... Uh, does? Okay. Picks it up? Okay. They're not lit, are they? No, they're not. <laughs> yeah. God. I'm going to set you on fire. Um, we're going to start with this one. And we will start with Corey. Now, don't give your answer until I ask. But Corey, just sit back a little bit so I can put this under your nose. <laughs> Let me know when you're good. Yeah. Okay, Eric, coming over to you. Okay. And Corey, which one is it? Banshee Flight. That's Eric? what I was going to say. Banshee yeah. Flight? Yeah, because it, it smells really clean. It is Banshee Flight. Uh-huh. They are correct. It smells I got like, that right. It smells like watery and clean. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice fragrance. And let me tell you, I was burning this. Um, I've I've explained to people before that you know my house is kind of my house is about thirty two hundred square feet in total. Um, but it's not the open design that you normally find in Florida homes. Every room is its own room. My dining room is its own. My family room. My kitchen. Um, I was burning this yesterday in my family room. And when I tell you the entire house, I mean, it covered the entire house, this candle. And I don't know that I've ever burned a candle that did that. Yeah, it's a super powerful scent. I mean, most of their scents are really powerful. He puts more oils in these. He was telling me that he puts a lot more oil in these um, than most places do. Um, so even the light fragrances, the lighter fragrances will fill a room. But I've never had one fill my house. So one, what is this? 12, 14 ounce candle, um, fill the, fill the house. So it's one of my favorites too. It's just a really nice, really nice, clean, clean fragrance. All right, moving on. Another theme park inspired fragrance. I'm not sure how this one is going to show up on No. All right. So well, the three remaining options are, well, you'll find out, and, Okay. you know, um, when you guess. So we're going to come to you, Eric. Uh-oh. On this one. Oh, I know what that one is. I think I already know what it is, and I haven't. Even... I've just opened. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. this one's potent. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already know. All right, Eric, what do you think it is? That's mouse waffle. For yeah, sure. It is mouse yeah. waffle. It smells indeed. like breakfast. It smells like breakfast. <laughs> and this was our candle. This is I uh, arguably now my favorite of their candles. This is our candle of the month last month. Um, they sold out of these <laughs> after we made it our candle of the month. Um, this is another one. It's just that it's that really warm, baked. I love that 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 warm fragrance that just it feels so good when you walk into a room and you smell that. I love candles like that. So that's mouse waffles. All right, we got two more. As soon as you open that lid, I soon and that because this I'm one like, okay. and this that's a new candle. That one hasn't burnt has, hasn't been burned yet. Um, it's not the case with this one. That's the other thing I like is that you can burn them. And and burn them for a while, and then they don't lose their potency when you when you relight them. Um, that's not the case with all candles. But all right, this one may show up 
on camera. So, all right. Corey, we'll start with you. Coming over. Okay. Okay, Eric, coming to you. This may throw you for a loop, Eric. What? Okay. I have no idea what that one is. <laughs> okay, so Eric's not sure. Um, Corey? Is it the Pinocchio Village? It is Pinocchio Village House. And again, um, or Pinocchio Village, excuse me. Um, uh, this is just inspired by that. I don't think this is actually a fragrance right. in any particular place. I think uh, he does that, Keith does that with some of his fragrances. They're just inspired yeah. by the name. It's not, but I get like a pistachio type of, it's a, it's a very unique candle in that. Yeah, uh, can you smell it one more time? Pistachio Village. Yeah, what are you picking up? Because he's got a really, you've got a really, really. It smells a lot like vanilla, but then it's definitely sweet, but it's not like, it's not like mouse waffle where it was really sweet and warm. It's more sweet and like refreshing. I don't know. It's definitely got some sweet in it though. Okay. All right. So we've gone through mouse waffle, Banshee flight, and Pinocchio's Village House, or Pinocchio Village, excuse me. Um, make sure I get the names right. And then finally, another one of my favorites, and this one's burned down quite a bit. Um, I have to get some more of these. But uh, this is that one, if you can see it. And Eric, we're going to start with you. If I can get the lid off. There we go. Is it? Oh. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Don't okay. say anything. Mr. Piascanero. Okay. Yeah, I got a good whiff of that one as soon as you open the lid, too. Eric, what do you think? It's something with dessert. I'm not sure what the names are, but it smells like dessert. It smells like dessert, Corey? Uh, bakery. Bakery. There it is go. bakery. Okay. Corey's four for four. <laughs> Eric's three for four. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for someone who has not... Can uh, I take these off? You can take your blindfolds okay. <laughs> off now. Um, that's pretty good for somebody that... Uh, is not an expert on those places, but it kind of gives you an idea of how good these fragrances, how good these fragrances are. And I love that as we've been talking about it now for a little over a month on our show, uh, people are starting to buy them, and I'm starting to get all this feedback on social media about how much they're loving these candles. And uh, I, uh, Eric, was making fun of me earlier this morning because he came in and he saw. It's like, have you ever seen Hoarders? Like, it's like you walk in the kitchen. And I want to be. There's like a pile of candles in the office. Yeah. Pile of candles. I, I want to be clear. I want to be clear. They are a sponsor. They're a sponsor of the Diz. So I do have a financial relationship with them. But every single candle I have received in this house, every single product, piece of product I received from them, I have paid for. Same price you pay. Uh, he has very generously offered to send me review products. We do. We don't do that. I won't push these. I won't sec rec recommend these if I'm not willing to spend my own money on it. Um, and we do that with everything, with all our reviews, whether it's a dining review or resort, a hotel review. We pay a pub publicly prevailing rate for everything. And I do like to be transparent about that because that is not something that is commonly done on the Internet. Um, and I wouldn't be recommending it to you guys if I wasn't willing to buy it myself. And I can tell you there's about... 35 of these candles in my house right now. Well, <laughs> I want to I want to get a feel for them. I really want to like like some of them that I didn't think I was going to like, like Japan that's, or that's India. A good one. I like that. I one. didn't think I was going to particularly like those and I love them. India is amazing. India is unbelievable. I think you're being a little uh, modest with 35. I think there's a lot yeah, more. There's than definitely, 35. I was, that's yeah, definitely. I was laughing. I earlier. was really. There's, there's, there's 35 like in the 60. kitchen. Yeah. I thought 35 <laughs> yeah, was yeah. embarrassing enough, but no, it's not 60. But I all right, buy, I would buy the banshee. I think I'm, I'll probably end up buying that one and Japan. Well, just I, make, I like I like the clean stuff. Just make sure you use code Disney Info for 15 oh, percent off. Oh, Pete, I appreciate that. <laughs> gonna get that. I, I, I keep saying I'm gonna change my middle name to code Disney code Disney Info for 15 percent. <laughs> um, all right, folks. Thanks very much for. Uh, indulging us with our little uh, smell test of candles from the Magic Candle Company. The next one of these we do will be resort-inspired candles. So thanks for watching.